Drawing snow melt areas is very similar to drawing rooms for a radiant heating project. The tools available on the sidebar are very similar, with one obvious exception that the draw wall tool is now called draw boundary. Here we'll use the draw boundary tool to draw our snow melt area in freehand mode. If we hover the mouse over the area for a few seconds, a summary will display as shown here. We can now add a few key dimensions. Remember that you can always move back to the project settings step to edit any of the key design or load calculation properties. Refer to the help file under snow melt loads for detailed information on all of these properties. Once the snow melt area is drawn and the properties have all been checked, click next to move to the circuit drawing step. We can now add a manifold, and as we can see here, it does not need to be inside the boundaries of the snow melt area. After placing the manifold, you can rotate it by right clicking on it and choosing rotate. Then just move your mouse to the desired rotation and click to set it. We can now generate automatic circuits using the circuit entry object. Refer to the manifolds and auto circuits lesson and the freehand circuits lesson for more on drawing circuits. And just the same as with the radiant heating projects, we can use the layout gallery here in a snow melt project to view thumbnails of all the circuit layouts that LoopCAD can generate for this area. We can now draw the leaders to connect to the manifold. Just right click on the circuit entry, choose connect to manifold, and then draw the path back to the manifold. When you're locked onto the manifold, a green rectangle will appear. Just click to connect. We can now update the hydronic calculations and zoom in to view the data. To view the snow melt area's properties, just right click on it and choose snow melt properties. Here you can edit the design properties and load calculation settings for this specific snow melt area. You can change from a calculated load to a manual input load. And you can even specify the back loss as a percentage of the load, or you can set it to automatic calculation. You can click the Help button to get more information on any of these settings. When you've completed the circuit drawing, click Next. If you have an OEM add-on installed, a materials list will be generated for you. Otherwise, you'll be taken to the report step. For snow melt projects, there's a specific snow melt design report, as shown here. Refer to the printing and exporting lesson for details on using the report step.